in the last chapter of your book, Stephen, you discuss how the yeah, canvases rewrote their foundation history in the late 17th century. And central to your argument is this painting, and not so impressive painting, if I can be mm -hmm. honest, um, of their founders and goes and receiving the three first convent members. And what can this painting tell us about how the early modern canvases saw their medieval past? Well, the painting, which I agree is very ugly, contains a fascinating retelling of the convent's medieval narrative origins. Uh, it matches an office text from the late 17th century, which was published, uh, published around the same time as the painting was, was made, probably, which describes in detail or, and claims that Goslin founded the monastery of Muxier not as a convent of Benedictine women, but as a house of secular canonesses. And this is a blatant contradiction with Goslin's own foundation charter, which explicitly says that it's a Benedictine nunnery. Now, why did the women do that? Why is that, that relevant at the end of the 17th century? Well, there's a lot of pressure building up already from the middle of the 16th century to turn the convent back into a nunnery, back into a monastic house. And so the canonesses always resisted that pressure by external reformers, obviously, and um, put di different le legal and other means into action to defend their own interests and to defend their lifestyle. And the office and the painting also represent a stage in that self-defense process. In the office itself, it's described not just that the uh, convent was not founded as Benedictine nunnery, but for instance, that Goslin gave to each of the women a prebent, which is a, an, a yearly allowance to care for their, their daily needs to cater for their daily needs, rather. And that he also allowed them to wear whatever they wanted, wear the clothes what, what, that they wore when they arrived at the monastery, it says. Now, the painting itself can't replicate or couldn't replicate all the nuances of that story. But what you can see in the right-hand bottom corner is Goslin receiving the first three members of the community. Obviously, it's, a, it's an imaginary depiction. Uh, they're wearing a black mantle, which was obligatory also to the canonesses when they went to office. But you, if you look really closely at the canonesses, each of them is wearing a different style of dress in a different color. And I think that's quite significant because a, an artist would never have depicted Benedictine nuns wearing different clothes, especially not blue dresses or, or red dresses, and each of them in a different cut. So it, I think it's an echo of the office te text that says they kept on wearing what they wore when they arrived at the monastery, which is very significant, I think. So these are subtle hints that are broadcast by the convent members inside their church, because the painting was hung inside the church, to tell an audience, maybe an audience that was aware of these discussions, or maybe not, um, that they were really keen on maintaining their status in life. 